to YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel. I know it's been quite a while since we've seen each other. I was not purposely neglecting y'all. I had a lot going on um, that didn't kind of, and give me time or like the opportunity to really record. I didn't have content for you guys. And what I could have did for you guys, it was like, I could have did a reaction video, but the background would have been noisy. I could have vlogged, but I ain't have nothing to vlog. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of want to give you guys, well, not kind of, I want to give you guys footage and stuff like that that I'm proud to put out. You know what I'm saying? And not just put out things because I haven't put out a video in a minute. If you watched the last video, then you know that I did a video on DDG. I was reacting to his video, Storyteller. And I said in the video, I said this about DDG backstory and why I started YouTube or whatever the case may be, but DDG is a huge reason why. Um, I always wanted to do YouTube, always um, would watch YouTube every day, all day, like that's something I could do, but it wasn't until seeing how YouTube changed DDG's life and how it opened doors for him to change his family's life that I really, really started enjoying YouTube. I've never met him, I've never seen him in person, I never been to a concert of his so this is my first running with him and I, I I'm so glad that my first running with him I am now a YouTuber you know what I mean and I'm not just an aspiring YouTuber somebody who wants to do it like I'm doing it you know what I'm saying so it kind of holds some type of significance to me hit that like button hit that comment button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already we on a road to 100 subs if you go out again share my channel with somebody that you know even if it's one person and i'm just going to keep pumping out good videos for you guys so please help me out with that but um yeah man he got a concert tonight in brooklyn and i'm going and um i'm about to get in the shower and then get my hair done to see how when i get out of the t the shower bye Hi, Chai. So, made it to Brooklyn. Thank you so much for buying these tickets for me. Damani bought these tickets for me. She knows how much I really do love DDG. So, I really appreciate you for buying these tickets. By the way, I never told you guys that I'm I'm going on this um, concert by myself. Yeah, I'm excited. It's uh, 5.30. I'm probably going to head over there in a, in a minute and try to at least get this ticket thing going on. I don't know, you know? And, um... Yeah, man, so I see y'all when I'm settled and I get inside the concert. Bye. I'm up here in Brooklyn, right? So look, I need y'all to turn the fuck up with me. What's up? Yeah. 
Sammy? Sammy. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Look, look, make some motherfucking noise for Sammy right now. We gotta hype Sammy up, man. Sammy, this your moment, man. Hey, Sammy, Sammy, listen, I don't even wanna rap. This is about you. No pressure, though. No pressure, though. No pressure, though. Drop that shit, man. outro last night but it didn't make no sense i was trying to explain to y'all like the ins and outs of things i mean let me put y'all on so i had meet and greet tickets right and um the respectfully like the venue was fake like unprofessional like the people that worked at the venue like this is aside like from ddg's camp i personally feel like the venue wasn't professional enough like there was no real guidance to me as far as like where I'm supposed to be going to get my meet and greet tickets etc etc like I had like a a ticket situation right so like I stated earlier Damani bought the tickets for me so it was in her name so <clears throat> it was hard for me to just go and scan because I'm not Damani so I know they'll be looking like all right well you know you Caitlin who's that but she called earlier in the day to change the tickets to my name. And she said it was successful, but um, I'm glad she still was in Brooklyn with me because they was giving me a hard time trying to get in. I had to free up some space, but I'm gonna make this quick. It was time for the meet and greet. It was just like, I'm asking so many people, where do I need to go to get like a printed ticket of proof? Nobody knows. Some some staff are saying they don't even know about a meet and greet. Some people are saying they have no idea. So when they after the show and they're lining people up for the actual meet and greet, um, I asked the security guard and he's like, "All right, hold on." He walkies somebody and he's like, "You good? Don't worry about it." So when DDG comes out, I'm like in the front of the line. It's like two or three people before me. I lied, like five or six people before me. And um, his managers come and like double check for the tickets, the meet and greet tickets. And I felt like the security guard failed me because you telling me I'm valid, but then you're not even communicating to the managers that you waved me off to be valid. You feel me? So now they, they want proof and rightfully so, you wanna make sure nobody's ripping your artists off and doing all that. They was doing what they had to do. They was doing a job. But I thought they was gonna dub me because I had a screenshot of like Damani's confirmation that she paid um, for meet and greet tickets. So they was kind of like just staring at it like a screenshot and I was trying to explain to them. And that was making me more nervous because I was next in line. And I'm like, yo bro, if they dub me right here in front of him, like I'm gonna be embarrassed, I ain't gonna lie. Like, so it started like making my nerves jump. Like, damn, like, cause they started investigating. So last second like my heart is already beating crazy because i'm like damn bro like they're not about to let me meet him and i don't know what i could do because nobody's a help here but um the last minute they let me through and that kind of like jumped my nerves up and i spoke to ddg very brief i didn't even mention my youtube channel to him i was so high and nervous um but i'm gonna send this vlog to him for sure and i'm gonna send him the pictures and stuff but um yeah, man, we took pictures. I insert them right here, or insert one. And then, like, the security guard, I felt like he was taking the picture so quick. I'm not really, like, a photo person. I hate photos. But I just felt like I needed to take it because it's a memory and a thumbnail. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that wraps up this vlog. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell because I'm telling y'all right now. I know I say this probably every, every other video. I'm about to wow 
out with the videos. Like, it's coming back to back. Y'all should kind of know me by now. If I don't post in a little minute, I come back, I'm coming back. And there's a whole bunch of videos just back to back. So make sure that y'all tune in. Share this video with somebody, man. Like I said earlier, I want to get 100 subscribers and I need the Guala Gang's help. So share my channel with somebody you know, even if it's one person, two people. Somebody else may be bored. Think about your friends that's working and they don't got nothing to watch on break. Plug me in. Hold it down. You feel me? Hold it down. And I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. So I got made it. So I got made it. So I got made it.